who exactly is Jonathan Rumi playing? Well, he's playing this man who took this hit of orange sunshine. As we look back at the history of the Jesus movement, we can clearly see that what started the Jesus revolution was what first started Lonnie Frisbee. And what started Lonnie Frisbee, according to his own claims, is when he took this LSD into Keats Canyon and took his clothes off and said, God, if you're really real, reveal yourself to me. Where did they get the LSD? Well, we will find that it ties in to this documentary, Born Sunshine. Here we see at the time she met Lonnie, Connie lived in a commune in Silverado Canyon, California, with a group called the Brotherhood of Eternal Love. What started as a commune with several homes in the area morphed into a major drug distribution channel for LSD and hashish. They dealt LSD for Timothy Leary, Connie recounts. They were the main people bringing hashish into Southern California from Afghanistan. But there's an interesting connection between these two documentaries, one being the life and death of a hippie preacher, Frisbee, right here. The other link is the documentary you can find on Amazon, Orange Sunshine. And these silhouette figures are the silhouettes of the people who peddle LSD, particularly orange sunshine, all across the land <clears throat> through a setup called the Brotherhood of Eternal Love. And the place that they really set up to launch this crusade to illuminate people through the drug LSD. That's what this documentary is about. That their aim and goal was to awaken the whole world through LSD that was made to be so strong that they would encounter the divine embrace. That the LSD you can watch the documentary on the Orange Sunshine Makers, which they will tell you that it was specifically designed to be 300, which is strong enough so that people would have, hopefully, epiphanies. We have an article, The Man Who Made It Rain, Orange Sunshine, Tim Scully, a revolutionary says in 1970, a cargo plane flew over 25,000 people at a rock concert and dropped thousands of acid tabs to the cheering crowd below. The packets contained a strain of LSD nicknamed Orange Sunshine, considered today the most iconic and purest form of acid. With the help of the Brotherhood of Eternal Love, an organization that dubbed themselves as the Johnny Apple Seeds of Hallucinogenics, Orange Sunshine spread throughout the world. So once again, we see that this LSD, this Orange Sunshine, provided by the Brotherhood of Eternal Love, that is in this new movie, The Jesus Revolution. The camera comes from behind as they walk into this rock concert. Both Greg Laurie and Kathy. And all of a sudden here we see Janis Joplin. 
and she's singing on stage and then Timothy Leary takes the stage and then a plane flies over and tablets of this orange sunshine which they pictured in the movie is dropped down on all these people and what they were endeavoring to reenact is this article right here where in 1970 a plane flew over 25,000 people at a rock concert and dropped thousands of acid tabs and this orange sunshine you can see that both Kathy and Greg were on but not only were they on it but we have also shown that Lonnie Frisbee and Connie had taken it together at times this is significant and I would encourage everyone get on Netflix look up how to change your mind a series on Netflix how to change your mind and the first episode is on LSD and what they're discovering right now in mental science 66 67 years ago the founder of Alcoholics Anonymous tried LSD and ignited a controversy still raging it's August 29th, 1956. A philosopher, a psychiatrist, and his research assistants watch as the most famous recovering alcoholic puts a dose of LSD in his mouth and swallows. The man is Bill Wilson, and he is the co-founder of Alcoholics Anonymous, the largest abstinence-only addiction recovery program in the world. By the time the man millions affectionately call Bill W. dropped acid, he'd been sober for more than two decades. His experience would fundamentally transform his outlook on recovery, horrify AA leadership, and disappoint hundreds of thousands who had credited him with saving their lives. All this because after that August day, Wilson believed other recovering alcoholics could benefit from taking LSD as a way to facilitate the spiritual experience he believed was necessary to successful recovery. We know this from Wilson, whose intractable depression was alleviated after taking LSD. His beliefs in the power of the drug are documented in his many writings. I am certain that the LSD experience has helped me very much, Wilson writes in a 1957 letter. I find myself with a heightened color perception and an appreciation of beauty almost destroyed by my years of depression. You can really say that while on LSD, Lonnie saw a vision of the Jesus Revolution. He saw the whole thing while on LSD.